At the U.S. Capitol today, a final goodbye to the man who spent decades serving the American people. Thousands are expected to gather in the Capitol Rotunda to honor Senator John McCain. That's where his body lies in state. A private ceremony was held this morning. Among the speakers, Vice President Mike Pence. In every generation, there are those who put country first, who prize service ahead of self, who summon idealism from a cynical age. John McCain was such a man. Anchor Bill Baeza is live in Washington, D.C. And Bill, we understand you found some people from Texas that are there to pay tribute to the senator. I did, Jonathan and Lauren, and as you just pointed out, the main story is inside the Capitol building where Senator McCain lies in state. But a secondary story is out here with the thousands of people who have been in line all afternoon to get inside to pay their respects to Senator McCain. Now, it has been very hot here today with feels like temperatures well into the 90s and high humidities as well. There have been people here who have suffered heat exhaustion as they've waited in line. As a matter of fact, if we swerve around over here, you can see that the fire department has brought ambulance buses out here so that people can take a, a break, spell themselves in the air-conditioned buses when they need to. There's also a water stand uh, set up here for people who need it. But this line started about 1 o'clock this afternoon, and thousands of people have filed through here. And I don't know what the official number is, but I'm going to guess it's well above 50,000. There are actually two lines, one here and one that starts over there. From where I'm standing right here, my understanding is it takes about two and a half hours to process through this serpentine line to get into the Capitol to see Senator McCain. There are a lot of people here from Texas right now. They're not here for this reason, but to see the UT Maryland game that plays tomorrow night. Uh, but because they're here, a lot of people have taken advantage of the opportunity to come here and pay their final respects, including a number of people from the Houston area. Brian McCluskey from Galveston is one of those. My father is a 100% disabled Vietnam veteran, and actually part of this trip, I came here to uh, visit the Vietnam Memorial for my father, and then this happened, so I decided out of respect you know, for the senator and, and for my father and Vietnam veterans alike, I was going to come by and, 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 and visit. Because so many people have traveled to our nation's capital to see Senator McCain one more time, Capitol Police have decided to leave this line open until 8 o'clock tonight. Anybody who is in line at 8 o'clock will have an opportunity to go into the Capitol Rotunda. That could take as well into 10, 11, even 12 o'clock tonight. And we'll be here to bring all of that for you. We'll have a complete report for you again on our news at 6 o'clock. Lauren and Jonathan. All right, Bill, thanks a lot for that. And I think it certainly speaks to the legacy that he leaves behind. No question. A lot of people there in those lines. Bill, thank you.